Boys and girls, we have lots of activities off the Makerspace trailer that you saw out on the playground. The first one we're gonna talk about is our science station. You're gonna try to build a beanstalk out of pipe cleaners and other craft materials we have there. The key is it has to be able to stand. The TMC Lab is a, a, a mobile learning STEM platform and it was designed to support rural out-of-school time programs. TMC stands for Think, Make, Create, and it's the opportunity for kids to, to practice those skills. So are they thinking deeply about concepts? Are they allowed to make what they're thinking about and then create it? Makerspace is a place where you can stay after school and you get to do really fun stuff. When we envisioned the TMC Lab, we really saw it as an early on-ramp to get young people thinking about themselves as creative problem solvers in Nebraska. And so we use the TMC Lab as a platform for STEM learning. Today, you guys were working on STEM activities. What do you think the S could stand for? Huh. This is a challenge. You're putting a challenge to my brain right now. I thought this was going to be an interview, not a challenge. STEM is science, technology, hmm, what was it? E? Engineering and math. All together, that makes the word STEM. We really feel like rural communities have a tremendous underutilized potential, and we thought the TMC Lab would be a good platform for engaging some of that STEM talent that's sitting on the sidelines. Increasingly, we're recognizing that the achievement gap is really an opportunity gap that separates low-income from high-income youth. Those opportunities during the school day look pretty similar. Poor, rich kids are in the same building, same day, having the same experience. But if you look at their after-school and summer activities, those are grossly unequal. And so what we really try to do with after-school programs is level that playing field and provide more opportunities for young people to have those hands-on learning experiences that complement the school day. Grand Island was one of those communities that we reached out to because it was identified as an after-school desert, meaning they didn't have any formal after-school programming. So we felt like there was a big need in Grand Island that we wanted to address. We use the Makerspace trailer through the Grand Island Public Schools for after-school club for K through five students. It's just a little trailer that's able to be pulled around from school to school and they bring it in, they park it, and the kids get to see it and they get super excited about it being there. Inside it, it has these shelves that are built into it. It's basically full of technology pieces, even just your basic art supplies are also on there. And they're, they're stored in totes that teachers can easily access, so when it comes to their building, they can take those materials off and set up their station. We'll have six stations set up and we'll have up to eight kids at a station. And so they're asking each other questions, they're trying to solve things together. It's not a one-on-one -on -one activity and that's the part that's really fun to see. I like working in a group because you can have all different ideas and then combine them into one great idea. We've got Legos, we've got wood blocks, we've got Lincoln Logs, just some of those hands-on activities that are different than the paper and pencil activities that are sometimes you know, in the classroom. Like, you can use robots, baby robots, that follow your lines with a marker. And the markers are so cheap, but the robot is not. <laughs> so don't break it. <laughs> I took, like, um, tin foil, and I made it into a bow and a put pennies in it, and then see how much pennies it could take until it sank. My favorite part is that you get to use your imagination, and I use my imagination a lot, so I like it. We've had just total engagement when we have kids come in, and kids that might not be engaged in the classroom these hands-on types of activities that they can really dig into and they can try and problem solve and, and ask questions and talk to other kids, they just love it. After school programs are this place that we really undervalue in American educational systems that is connected to the great learning that's taking place in the classroom, but does it in a way that kind of falls outside of those boundaries. It kind of takes education kind of out of a box and says, look, education happens everywhere. And it doesn't magically stop at 3.30 when the school bell stops. It happens all the time. 
Sometimes you really got to work your brain and not just sit there. You have to work it, push it. Sometimes you even got to knock it out. <laughs>